Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that you see here using Madison Beer's new palette that she originally launched with in Morphe, or she did a collaboration with Morphe. That's what I mean. <laughs> and if you haven't heard of Madison Beer, oh my God, where have you been? I love her music. She kind of reminds me of what is it called? Ariana Grande. Like her music is kind of like that, but she's a little bit more edgy in a different way, but I really love her music. Anyways, when I found out she had a collaboration with Morphe, I was so excited. You guys, this palette runs for $22. It's super affordable. That's what I love about Morphe. And let me show you the palette really quickly. How I know I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video make a tutorial Please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and let's jump on in and get ready I've already pushed back my hair applied some foundation concealed and set everything out and obviously did my brows grow <laughs> Off a camera. I actually was intending to you know do my foundation and everything with you guys and I completely forgot I'm so used to doing these makeup tutorials already coming in ready just so we can jump in and do our eyes and finish everything else that I completely forgot you guys I'm so sad but next time next time I'll make the intention of reminding myself the next makeup tutorial I'll be sharing with you the from the beginning to end the entire process of everything so today I am really excited you guys Madison Beer recently did a collaboration with Morphe and she came out with her own little collection and I'm really excited to use today's palette that she created this is with Morphe Madison Beer this is the channel surfing artistry palette and it is the most prettiest just when I first looked at it when they were promoting this collaboration I was like oh my god it is so pretty it has so many pretty everyday neutral tones to this palette you can create so many looks with it I really love the size of the quads and there's a really nice mirror in the back of it as well so I think it was runs for like 22 or 25 dollars so I'm crossing my fingers it works out really well today we can create a really nice look um, but yeah so we're gonna be using this palette today I also picked up a few of our glosses from our collection that will be you know applying it on for our look so let's jump on in I'm gonna go ahead and use a big fluffy shadow brush we're gonna apply color all around the lid and I'm gonna pick up white rabbit in the corner of this palette and just to mention you guys it comes with a little clear little seal kind of I don't know thing <laughs> over the shadows and it has the names of all of the eyeshadows on here so it's a nice little reference I honestly wish that they would have added it like in the back of the palette like all the names of the eyeshadows so you can kind of like reference back to it but I guess it's okay you know you can always have everything we want so you guys let's go ahead and apply a little bit of the shadow all around the lid Our transition shade we're gonna go ahead and jump on in and apply a little bit of Fight Club it is this really pretty mauve shade and I'm gonna be using my VH Cosmetics and this is my shader brush and we're just gonna pick up color and apply it within the crease of the lid and we're just gonna do like windshield wiper motions and really pack on color applying our transition shade I'm gonna go back into the palette pick up a little bit of a Zeppelin it's this really pretty chocolate brown eyeshadow color and I'm gonna use my angled shadow brush and I'll pick up a little bit of product and apply it in the corner of the eye dabbing it in and blending it within the crease of our lid blending brush I'm gonna go into emotional bruises this really pretty lilac color I'm hoping it works really well <laughs> and it's pigmented and it shows up on my skin complexion I'm gonna go ahead and apply that shade over the transition shade like on the outer edges and blending it in especially here on the corner side of the brow <laughs> smoking out of the bottom lash you guys you guys know that's my favorite thing to do <laughs> and we're gonna pick up a little bit of a fight club and apply it on the bottom a lash line area making sure that we blend everything really nicely I would suggest you to go ahead and pack on the shadow under the eye area just to avoid any fallout especially because at least for me girl I've already set my face I don't you don't need to make this a little bit harder <laughs> so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of fight club and then apply a little bit of a zeppelin as well Once we smoke 
smoked at the bottom lash, you guys, go back using your blending brush that we were just using earlier with uh, when we were applying emotional bruises. And whatever's left on that brush, go ahead and blend out those edges under the lash line area just to make sure everything's really blended really nicely and seamless and there aren't any harsh lines. You know, you want to be safe than sorry. <laughs> and since we haven't used any of the really pretty glittery <laughs> metallic shades in this palette, I'm going to go in using my detailed brush and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this really pretty frosty glittery shadow. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of that product and apply it in the corner tier deck of the eye just to give it a little bit more of that brightening effect. So I applied liner, curled my lashes, and applied mascara off camera really quickly, you guys, just to save a little bit of time. Um, for liner, so I'll recap you what you, what you missed. <laughs> for liner, I went in using a angled brush and picked up a little bit of Zeppelin and applied it in the inner lining of the eye. For mascara, I went in using my Super Lash Mascara. This is my all-time favorite mascara. I'll have it linked down below in case you are interested. And for my eyelash curler, I went in using my Shishido eyelash curler, which is one of my favorite eyelash curlers of all time. It's so good. Um, now we're going to move on to contour because that is very important and I love to contour. So we're going to move on to using Clinique Sunkissed Perfection Palette. I'm going to use the bronzer in this palette called Get Bronzed and I'm going to use my... I feel like this is a blush brush, but I use it to contour. So we're going to pick up a little bit of Get Bronzed, and then I'm going to go ahead and contour down the side of the forehead, cheekbone area, and jawline area. For blush, you guys, I'm going to go in using the Jouer Champagne Macaroon Sweet Cheeks palette. I'm going to use Delight Me here on the palette. Such a really pretty pinky blush but the guys the fallout in this palette is like no other <laughs> the things that we have to go through so I'm going to use my blush brush and just apply the blush on the top of the cheekbone and then I like to like kind of angle it up when I'm applying it on it just to really lift the face and make, make it look a little bit more lively more awake more happy <laughs> gloss I went in using one of the glosses that they launched within this collection from the Morphe Medicine Beer collection and this shade is called Saturn and isn't it pretty you guys I feel like it works really well with the look that I've created so I'm really lucky <laughs> and I really love this gloss it has a really pretty shine to it and it has a kind of like vanilla marshmallowy scent it's really light so I don't mind it but I'm really happy with the gloss so far and as for the palette you guys the gloss actually runs for $10 in case you guys are interested as for the palette this one runs for $22 so I feel like it's not too expensive, but I really love how easy it was to blend these eyeshadows and how pigmented they were. They're so pretty, you guys. I was kind of worried that they weren't going to blend very well and there was going to be a lot of fallout. There's a tiny bit of fallout, like a tiny bit, but not too bad to the point that it's like something you need to worry about. Um, but I just love how they blended so nicely. I only used a little bit of eyeshadow and it, you know, it did the trick, girl. So I'm really happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup tutorial and I love the look. If you guys would like to see maybe another makeup tutorial using this palette comment down below let me know what kind of color shades you like to see and I'll start working on it for you guys as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you guys all in my next video I love you guys so much